welcome or welcome back to the channel it's been a while um, and I've got something a little different for you today no photography but a strange encounter with a Tesla driver riding home from a lovely relaxing spa day at the end of a long weekend I was heading through Winsford on the A54 at the time I'm starting the video a little further back so you can get a feel for how I ride what decisions I make and why in the moments leading up to the encounter the video starts as I'm approaching a roundabout I notice a truck in lane one and two cars in lane two and with nothing behind me I decided to move into lane two now if I filter and go to the front of the queue the truck driver might not see me so I opted against filtering and stayed behind the Jaguar instead my rationale was that as soon as we'd cleared the roundabout the two cars would probably be ahead of the truck and would either pull in allowing me to pass or would simply have created a bigger gap allowing me to pull in once I'm clear of the truck minimal risk of the truck driver trying to change lanes on the roundabout but I'll move into position three anyway to keep as wide as possible well as it turns out position two considering the state of that drain I held back a little on the exit in case the two lanes merged into one but as soon as it was clear that the road continues with two lanes I overtook the truck as planned at this point I'm pretty sure the truck driver has seen me but as you can see in my left mirror He's keeping pace, so I don't want to pull into the left lane just yet. Once I am far enough in front, you can see we're already approaching the next set of red traffic lights, so rather than pull in now, I'm staying in lane 2 again. We stop at the lights, and that gap down the middle is just screaming at me to filter. It gets me further away from the truck, no offence to the truck driver, his driving was absolutely fine, it's just that trucks and bikes aren't a great combo, are they? Plus, I can hear my riding instructor in my ear telling me, Make progress when you can! So I filtered. As you can see, I stopped behind the BMW at the front in the left lane, and there's a reason for this. The BMW is slightly over the line into the bicycle box. I may be on two wheels, but that box is not for motorbikes. So I can't go in front of the BMW without crossing a line that I'm forbidden to cross under red light conditions. So I take second in the queue with the intention of slotting in behind the BMW once it pulls away. The Tesla, the Tesla, is on the right. And I'm pretty certain that at this point the driver has seen me. I've seen him turn his head a couple of times towards me. The light goes green and off we go with me giving a little thank you wave to the driver that I'd just filtered in front of, because I'm nice like that. We all move into lane two to pass the parked cars and I decided to stay there, letting the driver that I'd previously filtered past get their place back behind the BMW at the next lights. And all is right in the world once more. We carry on fine, past the next roundabout with me singing away. Shit singing, I know. We come off the roundabout into what looks like it could be one wide lane or two lanes. But there are subtle markings to suggest it's two, and the lines that I can see are very clear. So it's one lane with a speed increase just past that side road on the left. The Tesla seems a little far to the left. Perhaps he's turning left but not indicating. So I'm staying back for now. I move to the right, ready to pass easily if he turned left. But weirdly, at this point, he started indicating right. But he didn't move right or show any sign of turning and there's no turn coming up anyway maybe he's pulling a u-turn i move back into the left ready for him to pull a u-turn and immediately he hit the brakes why there's absolutely nothing in front of him and the speed limit has just increased not decreased i checked my mirror there was still nobody behind me so i indicated and moved into lane two ready to overtake the slowing tesla the second I'm in the outside lane, he accelerated again. And now we're approaching 60 miles an hour. Speed limit here is 70, being national speed limit, two lanes. So I gave him the benefit of the doubt and assumed he'd finally realized the speed limit. 
perhaps a little gif of Elon Musk appears on his screen and tells him to drop Miss Daisy off and get a fucking move on. Who knows? But as soon as I moved back into lane one behind him, his brakes came back on again, still with nothing in front of him. Now that's twice now. Was he brake checking me? I wasn't up his ass, so I'm not sure why he'd want to be brake checking from that distance. Was he trying to get me to race? Possibly. But he looked like he was in his late 50s or early 60s, not a boy racer. I hung back a bit to give him a clear signal that I'm not playing his game, whatever it is. A Nissan overtook us both and he was absolutely fine with that. But once it was just him and me again, there he is, heavy on the brakes for absolutely no reason for a third time. Prompting me to call him a bit of a fucking asshole. A bit of a fucking asshole, aren't you? As James Bond once said, once is coincidence, twice is happenstance, three times is enemy action. In other words, the most likely explanation at this point is that the Tesla driver is deliberately being a twat towards me. Coming off the next roundabout, he left his indicator on again. Perhaps he's just not very aware of his surroundings. Perhaps Tesla indicators work differently to those in every other car I've driven. Or perhaps he is just a bit of a shit driver. But then he moves left and looks like he's trying to let me go past. But after his games so far, I wouldn't rule out a sneaky sideswipe and then claiming it was my fault. Either way, I'm not filtering on a blind curve. But as the lights went red once more, I was able to filter past, completely ignoring his presence, and get a couple of cars in front of him. Again, I slotted in, gave a little thank you wave to the driver that I'd filtered in front of. And as we go around these corners, look in my mirrors and see just how far back that Tesla is now. Now the red car behind me has left a nice gap to me, thank you. And the Tesla has left a huge gap to them. He's now holding up everyone behind him. Maybe playing games with somebody else. Maybe he's a shit driver and he likes to act like an utter tosser towards people. There's no reason he can't be both. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing as I'll work my way towards double figures. Woohoo. Until next time. Cheers.